Hello everyone, Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities, and I trust you're having a fabulous day. Certainly the weather is good in Sydney, and I hope it is wherever you are around the world as well. Um, speaking about around the world, I say this to create opportunity for everyone and to keep everyone safe. Global manufacturing is in recession. And if you don't believe it, in three, four, five, six months from now, all of the data for now will be available and you'll be able to see that it was. One of the things I like to do is say things before there is data and I was saying it before there was the data, but now even without all of the data being in, I think there's enough data on the table, shall we say, uh, to fully support my view that global manufacturing is in deep trouble. Now, of course, tremendous bright spots, even a couple in Africa, actually, as Africa begins to uh, really create its own independence, its own power, economic and political powerhouse, independent of Europe and the United States, and that's to be applauded. Uh, everyone should be happy for any country or economic region coming of age. And that's what's beginning to happen in Africa now. Uh, certainly, there are strong bright spots in the manufacturing sector of several Latin American countries and even a, a couple of uh, Asian countries as well. The Middle East, of course, is designing an entirely uh, original path for itself. But when we come to the main three main economic regions of the world, and they still are the main economic drivers, when we look at Europe, the EU, when we look at China, when we look at the United States, they are in serious trouble. The latest economic data coming out yesterday, and I wrote about this at length today, uh, in the EU, uh, various PMI data, composite PMI fell to 47. That's for the whole economy of the EU. That's contraction. We know Germany has had recession. We know Italy is in a negative growth period. Over in the US, we saw the S&P uh, global PMI uh, for all uh, the economy for the US again fall sharply. Manufacturing PMI in the US in contraction. All of the manufacturing data for the United States and for China is completely disastrous at this point, and Europe isn't far behind. Therefore, you heard it here first, we are already in a global manufacturing recession. One of the reasons why China's exports have dropped so markedly is that's because not only for consumer demand around the world, but the de demand for tools and machinery around the world is dropping precipitously as various other economies' manufacturing sectors slow as well. So, all the clues are there. There's no doubt about it. You know, US manufacturing, China manufacturing, diabolical, Europe not far behind, and the whole world economy is slowing. Manufacturing leading the way. And as I've said to you before, manufacturing, it was the manufacturing sector that telegraphed ever so clearly to everyone involved, 1927 through to 1929, that there was something seriously wrong with the underlying economy upon which everyone liked to tap dance and dance on the tables of, by borrowing more and buying more shares. Why? Because everyone said it was because of the radio, it's because of new technology breakthroughs, that the boom would go on forever. Does that sound familiar? I wrote a piece, what, ooh, three, four years ago now, and I said we're in that 1927, 1925 to 29, 1927 to 29 period. I don't think we're going to have a global Great Depression. I don't think we're going to have a global stock market crash. Remember 1929, shares fell 90%. So, <laughs> you know, um, let's hope that that isn't what's going to happen here. But the parallels are so accurate. 
that one has to pay attention and just be a little bit cautious because remember 1927 to 1929 the manufacturing sector was screaming at people take profits reduce your risk but no one did this time round even if we're going to have a 10 30 percent correction i think a 30 or 40 percent correction in coming years is very possible but let's just say it's only in the you know another 10 percent that would be nothing right because apple fell 10 percent in just a couple of weeks so 10 percent down for the whole stock market what it means is there's no returns for retirees and i had a little bit of a chuckle today when bill chalmers uh, the Australian treasurer came out and said he wants fund managers to work harder to ensure income for baby boomers. I think baby boomers have done very well, thank you, treasurer. Uh, and by the way, the funds management, you know, the stock market, it's not a little factory that just turns out widgets of profit <laughs> forever for anyone who participates. That's not what it is. When you force working Australians to give 10 to 12% of their income to these, I must say, rather lazy fund managers, because how could you possibly be motivated when by law you're going to be given business? When the, when the Australian workers are forced, and all of us are forced to give that money to that funds management industry, you're forcing people to take significant risk with 10 to 12% of their income. That's what you're doing. Because the stock market is always significant risk. So for the treasurer to go, no, we need returns, all very well, but if the market's falling and fund managers have no idea, no idea whatsoever as to how to really even reduce their stock holdings, they might reduce how much they're now buying each month in a bear market, but they don't reduce their holdings. Very few do. And of those who do that, none of them short the market ever. So you're never, through your funds management structure, ever traditional, mainstream, ever going to be hedged against the downside, nor for the rest of your investments, because your property portfolio will probably be falling at the same time, nor are you going to actually make a profit on the market going in a different direction, which of course you can do as an individual trader and investor using the various financial market instruments that are available to you. So when I yell loud and clear, and by the way, I'm probably the first economist in the world to be doing it, it wouldn't be the first time, but maybe I need to be more humble than that because I do get things wrong too. This is a global manufacturing recession. Is it worth paying attention to? I think it is. Pay attention, have another rethink about how much risk of any wealth you've already created, you need to have still in the market at risk and maybe play some defense and maybe plot out some strategies as to what you would do should the market begin to fall. I hope that helps. It's a long-term perspective. On the day, markets look a little bit firm. In the long term, there's a real mismatch here that at some point will come home to roost. I hope that helps. Have a good day. Clifford Bennett.